Hello, this is a demo of this power supply board here that I built. Um, the whole article on how to build this is linked in the description. Um, so what, what we're doing here is uh, we're taking um, a cheap power supply you know, wall wart adapter um, that's producing a voltage of 7.5 volts. And we're taking that as input here. Uh, we've got a bunch of input capacitance, which is those four capacitors right there. Um, so that charges up on the input. We're then passing that through this regulator, which you can see with the binder clip right there. The clip is to hold on a heat sink, but there's the little uh, uh, regulator device in there. So that's regulating down to 5 volts um, with the variable or resistor right here. So we get 5 volts out, we've got some output capacitance, um, those two little capacitors right there. And we're taking that voltage and we're powering a Raspberry Pi and uh, USB audio. This is the XMOS uh, USB uh, 2.0 reference design board. It's got the little daughter card in here that's not so relevant for this, but it's just a basic interface. So. Um, First of all, I'm going to boot up the Raspberry Pi. So, uh, first step is, of course, plugging it in. Um, so I got it switched there. So what what I've done now is just charged up the the input. The capacitors are all charged, and these LEDs have come on. Um, my Raspberry Pi is still switched off. That's what these switches are for. So first, I'm going to turn on my interface, and then I'm going to turn on the Raspberry Pi got the HDMI plugged in over here in this monitor that's just gonna boot up it'll take a minute or so while that's booting up I'll just show you how the USB is connected uh, first of all I've got the 5 volts coming out of here which of course goes into the Raspberry Pi uh, micro USB 5 volts um, what what I'm doing over here I've heard I've heard this called uh, a Y cable a USB Y cable for the power so this this board is being powered off the second rail right here. So this red cable right here is what's providing the power for, for this unit. However, it's still connected as an accessory for the Raspberry Pi. So the, the green and the white wires here are what carry the data between these two. Now to make that happen, you've got to have a common ground. So I've got both grounds going into the ground here. So these boards share ground, but the power comes from the different red wires, which are on independent regulator circuits. Okay, this this is booted now, so I'm booted into Volumio. And what I'm going to do is just play some music. Um, so this, this USB accessory is doing optical spitif out. And I've got that going into my benchmark DAC1 DAC, and then of course I got powered speakers left and right there. So I'm going to go and just point my browser and I get the Volumio interface. So I've got a song, the song is on the, the SD card, so I'm going to play music off of that. So I'm playing with that coming out of the, the interface and it sounds really good. So, um, yeah, that's, that's in an operation. I'll just show you before, before we end here. I'll turn it off. So you turn off your interface. That gets recognized over there. Turn off the Raspberry Pi. Turn off the whole thing. Now these capacitors take you know, a couple minutes for those LEDs to drain. The, the voltage will slowly decrease. You can almost kind of see them getting a bit dimmer in the video there. But yeah, it'll turn off and then... Um, at the end of the day, you've got uh, a very low-cost, hi-fi audio setup here. Thank you very much.